What's up, everyone? Today, there's a Husqvarna, the Honda engine on it. Um, there is model information. But, like all mowers given to me to fix, it has its funkery. That fuel line and that fuel filter, not necessarily factory. Um, I didn't really check anything else. Oh. That's not good now, is it? So, basically, what. Oh, I almost forgot to show this. There we are. That's the cable being held into place. So. The story behind this one was that the guy does lawns and one of his old clients is like, hey, I have a lawnmower I don't use anymore, do you want it? Probably because, you know, he's mowing his lawn. But he's like, yeah, sure. So he gets it. Apparently, family members needing one for whatever home purchase they're doing. And this is kind of like a gift. So my task is to defunkify it. He did say there's a couple things he knew was wrong already. When he pulled on it, it did start, but it ran kind of poorly, and he would have to shove something through the throat to turn off the choke. Um, and that was even after having to pull like 10 or 15 times. I'm not really wanting to pull it 10 or 15 times, especially with that cable, so I am going to, we're going to clean the carb. This has, I believe, like one of those wax pins. It's supposed to be an auto choke system. We're going to replace the wax pin, replace this funkery of the fuel line, put a new cable on it, sharpen the blade. I probably won't show that one. And we will just, like I said, generally defunkify it. So let's get started. So, naturally, has a half a tank of fuel that doesn't smell the greatest so there's that <sighs> I have the ultrasonic cleaner started so even though it does run and the problem's probably just a pin part of properly defunctifying it is like full cleaning Obviously on. Let's turn that off now. And let's get this. Wait a minute. This is this on backwards? No, it can't be on backwards. The hmm, that's just a very different. I was not expecting that the auto choke uh, mechanism. I thought it was something else, but I could just be wrong. Well, obviously I am. Let's take off that too. So close to just cutting this stuff off. The problem with using this type of line is it doesn't hold up well to even uh, non ethanol gas. Gasoline in general just does not hold well to, so it, it will just cause problems. So you actually want to get fuel line. Most hardware stores will sell you actual fuel line. I mean, you're not supposed to probably 
even says it on the line itself, not intended for vehicle use, but this is not a vehicle, so you should be fine. And we have our mostly clean cup there. And let's see what we get for fuel. Probably not much since half it's on the lawnmower, but. Oh man, the more it drains, the worse it gets, huh? Well, looks pretty clean. Don't really see any water. So that's good. Come on, why is this not working? Mm -hmm. it's newer Honda is it giving me a hard time with that screwdriver which is why this steel screwdriver is a pretty nifty tool you know that when steel made this they purposely made it so you had to buy it to adjust one they're probably chainsaws and they didn't realize that it was actually going to be useful for other things. Except for hitting out jets that won't come out, of course. to get up. Pick. Yeah, this needed to come apart. It can't look dirty, but just having to do all this extra and there is some I don't even know what that is. Just general crap in there. Um, I don't really want to take this off, mainly because it was running, so what I will do, however, though, is I will take this out. Take this off. This is... I could access to the same kind of port that that jet controls. So, it's good to at least do this. Okay, I'm going to brush this off, put this in the cleaner, and we'll put it back together. Here we are. First thing, let's put the float back in with a needle. took the liberty of changing the fuel line. I didn't really need to show it because I forgot to push uh, record. So yeah, let's blow into it. But what you didn't see can easily be summed up in a few moments. Basically, there's two different sizes of fuel line, 3 sixteenths and a quarter. You want to put the correct fuel line at the correct location and make sure to put clips in. Because 
because you know it's just a better idea. I ran out of small clips that were the same style as the larger clips, so I had to use a different style. But it's a clip, and a clip is better than no clip. Perfect. Now, let's put this on. Okay, it's the light reflecting. I thought I saw a piece of dirt like chilling there. After I take this out, I want to show up because it's really loud and obnoxious, but I take my air compressor with a rubber tip gun and I blow through all the passages here, through there, through all these holes. If there was more over here, this one's not really too much of a problem. Um, Anywhere, really, except if there's a seat like in a Burton Stratton or Tecumseh, you don't want to blow in through this way, you want to blow in through the carb entrance, or yeah, because then you run the very real risk of shooting that across the room or your eye. There's no other options. And this is a lawnmower, so it's not too critical of getting this exactly where it was before, but just know that it does have a witness mark, and I'm going by that. Okay, now let's take care of that uh, annoying little wax thing. So right here is our culprit. We'll look at it when we get it out, but it has this little pin that goes in and out. Wax gets hot, pushes the pin out. Choke comes off. Wax cools. Choke comes back on. Pin goes in. And this is not usually a very fun procedure of removing it because this little pin does not really stay. Maybe a pick will help us out in this situation. So, as I said, this just kind of sits there and gets hot. This pin is usually in there, like so. And then it will push out when it gets hot and cool and goes in. But sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes it gets stuck open or stuck shut. It just depends on. So, yeah, that's the new one. I'll put a link in the description, but it's pretty simple to replace. So get your pen and paper out, because this is the complicated part. You take said piece with a pen facing the carburetor, and then you push said piece in. And your insulation's done. And then another thing, you want to make sure this is not grimy like it is now. So 
and oil this and um, we'll put everything back together. So, carb in hand. Let's see. I probably could stand to shorten this a little bit. This is the fuel line that I got from the, my local hardware store. They was they were out of the three eighths, but I have bought some from online from Briggs. Actually, we're doing this wrong way. We are gonna want to put the throttle in first. That clip is all that's going to go, so we'll just leave that the way it is. And... This part's not going to be able to be seen. I'm just going to put it back in. And why not try? You never know. Right? Now, take our gasket, put this on, take this piece, which has been fully lubricated, put that back on. Line up the bolts. vent and we should be finished let me clean this up like a hand towel and put the filter in the bolts and this crap off so we don't end up inhaling all of it the final process of defunkering it is using this cable now I'll put a link in the description below for it but to be honest if you don't want to or you can't find the cable on yours. All you really have to do is figure out um, basically where it mounts. If it mounts further down on your handle, you're gonna need a lot of extra exposed cable. If it mounts pretty close to your handle, you just get one that has a short. There's not really too many variations of it, so you really just kind of look at how much cable you need, and that's it. So. I just got the one that was linked on the website for on e parts and found it on Amazon because it ships quicker. So I think it was like eight bucks too, so it's very, very reasonable. Let's just see, can I there we go. It's easier if you just pull out a little bit of cable. And press.
this in the two little tabs. And there we go. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top and then we'll see if this runs. Recap. So, um, I checked the oil. It's actually pretty clean. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'll change it anyway. And new cable, zip tied it down. Everything looks to be good there. Plug looks fine. Not too concerned over that. Uh, new air filter, new thermal wax piece, and uh, full carb cleaning. I haven't done the blade yet, but I'll do that off camera after we hear it run. So let's see if it starts. It should. Oh, it also has a like a quarter tank and non ethanol in it. To see if she's leaking. No, okay, good. Um, yeah, I think it's ready to give her a shot. Sometimes that recoil will fix itself once it starts running a little bit, but if it doesn't, we'll put a little lubrication in it. Still no leaking. It takes a little time for that bowl to fill up. But yeah, looks like it starts in one or two pulls. And it's cold. It's like 40 degrees in here. So it should be pretty good. So if you have a hard starting Honda with the auto choke, definitely take a look and see if you have one of these. If you do, buy that part number. I have a link in the description below for And just replace it and you should be good to go. Um, like I said, they get stuck open and closed, so if it's open, it'll run with choke on. If it's closed, you just won't be able to start without starting fluid or like 30 pulls. So keep an eye out on that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm going to lube up that recoil, sharpen the blade, and this should be finished. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them below. If you have any comments, definitely leave those. Definitely subscribe. Thumbs up. That helps me a lot. I'll catch everyone in the next one.